Hello everyone, we are back for one more coding session on TCS and QT and these three questions have also come in the previous years so now we will look in how to solve this so the first question is like uh, they will give in a string and in that if there is a uh, character of 7 then it should be removed from that string and if there is a character of 56 that should also be removed and then you have to print out that output string the second question is that they will give you a number and you have to find the product of all the digits but the thing is that in this they won't be telling you what is the they won't be telling you what is the you know length of the number or how many digits are in there they just you just have to print the product and the third question is sorting a string but there is a catch that the string is not separated by a uh, space it is separated by a full stop so let's start uh, and let's see how we can accomplish this so first of all we'll look into the first question so we have to remove 7 and 56 so let me go to python here and so for that I will take my str as an input so we have an input and then if there is a of 7 then we have to separate it so I can write as new str which should be equals to dot join of so what we are joining here is two splitted parts of a string and we will split with the help of a split function and we will split with the character 7 so let's see what we can do here it's split dot join of sorry dot join of my str dot split so what join function takes is an array or a list so we'll uh, split returns a list so we'll uh, uh, mean split with the help of 7 so in the next line what we do we will produce one more variable as new string is equals to we'll now split the 56 and join it with the remaining portions so we'll again take dot join then we will take my str sorry we will not take now my str we will take new str dot split split and then we will pass 56 and finally we will just print out this new str no, sorry new string so let's see if our uh, code works here so I have to give an input so let's see if it can remove it. so see from here G H I J K it has removed 7 and in the second part it has removed 56 so the thing about python is that you can use these built up functions and methods to implement this and you can also do it by the primitive methods like if and else if if string do, uh, string i is equals to 7 then remove it or you can also use replace function but I found this very easy and I mean it would just take 4 sentences to complete so that's pretty good uh, but the thing is that this only works in python it doesn't work in any other language so you have to be well aware about it so let's now move to the second question so the second question asks we have to uh, uh, find the product of all the digits so let's start like this so i will take num equals to input and then what we will do we will just make a list of it we will say as my list equals to i will use list comprehension here is that for digit for digit 
paint a new amp. So what this line does, uh, it is a list comprehension. It is telling that make a list of all the digits that are present in this number. But uh, we know that in uh, Python we take input as a string. So what this digit actually is is a character. Okay. So like if I print, uh, let me print one, then you can understand. Let me print my list. So let me give an input here as one, two, three. See, you are getting a list of all the digits, but the digits are taken as a character, not as a uh, integer. So what we will do here is, since we have the list already made, we'll just declare a variable called multiply, uh, let's say product equals to one the general logic then we will write for digit in my list product equals to product into we will type cast here and we will write digit because our digit is in a uh, string so we have to type cast it into it uh, sorry into int and now our program is finished we will just write it as print product so let's run this now and see if it matches so i'll give input of one two three see it's six let's give another input like uh, six five zero it should return zero it's fine then and then we can also give like six five nine and the answer is 5630930270 it's correct so the only important thing is this one i have done it in one line you can do it in different ways no problem at all so let's go on to the third questions so the thing uh, the question is sort a string but the catch is that the string is not a normal one like we write this pay words separated by spaces here the words are separated by a dot or a full stop so let's see how we can do this so let's first take as a my str as an input so this will take our input in form of string now let's make a list called my list equals to list of will make a list of all the words so uh, let me make it a different name for better understanding i will make a list of the words so i will write word list is a list of all the words so how can you get all the words is my str dot split but oh, if we use the default function for split it will split with the help of uh, space but we are not using space here we are using a dot so let's now see if this works so i'll use a print statement to uh, make it understandable so let me just print out word list so so i'll just give this input only So let's give this as input and see this just returns the strings in the form of words and these are separated with the help of this dot so it is working so now just like a normal sort in python what we will use is a method for list is word list dot sort so this will automatically sort our um, words and then we have to make a new string so i will write new str equals and again we will use this dot join method so dot join takes an uh, list so what we'll uh, do here so we have already sorted we'll just pass on that list word list 
so by default how it joins it will join with no character in between so it will just read this is a dog but sequentially but for giving a dot let's see what's the output see in output they have given this dot as well so we will join with the help of a dot only so in between those uh, as in between these two we'll just give a dot and it will be fine so now we'll just print out new str so let's just uh, run this and see what happens so i will give that in again this is a dog and let's see what it returns a dog is this as given you see this dot is joining this so if i don't give this dot what will happen let's see it will just simply join it see nothing is there if you give space here it will join with the help of space so another thing is that tcs can give the question in this form as well they will tell you this is the input but you have to sort in such a way that this dot is replaced by a space as well then you can do this or in this criteria they have asked it with dot so we'll just use dot you can see this is the output so this finishes our discussion uh, i hope you like our video if you did like it subscribe and hit that like button thank you